Pastor Stephen here, and this Sunday we're going to be talking about how our light shines for God when we stand for what's right. We're here in the library today, and I have a, a very special book here. This is my Greek and English Interlinear New Testament, and I want you to take a look here at the spine. The name of the publisher is Tyndale. That's named after William Tyndale, who was a 16th century reformer, and he was a person who let his light shine for God by standing up for what is right. In those days, the Church of England believed that church services should be in Latin only and that the Bible should be in Latin only. But William Tyndale was convicted by his conscience that people should be able to read the Bible for themselves in their own language. And so he became the first person to translate the Bible into English from the original Greek and Hebrew. But he broke the law by doing so. So he fled to Germany where he hid out with uh, folks like Martin Luther and others. But uh, King Henry VIII sent agents into Germany to find William Tyndale and bring him back, where he was imprisoned and eventually burned at the stake for believing that people should be able to read the Bible in their native language, read it for themselves. Of course, William Tyndale has left a, a tremendous mark on history. The King James Version of the Bible, which came many years later, is 70% identical to William Tyndale's original translation. And in fact, his translation of the Bible has impacted our language and our versions of the Bible that we have today. He was one person that stood up for what was right, and he let God shine through him and left an incredible mark on the world. This Sunday, we're going to be talking about some more people who let their light shine for God by standing up for what's right.